The title of this presentation is Drug Delivery Strategies Targeting Cancer Cells with Less Side Effects. Please help me to welcome Payal. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce you to different strategies to treat cancers. Now, we all know that cancer is one of the leading cause of death in the United States and in the whole world. There are plenty of medications and therapies to treat cancer, but they all have several side effects related to them, or we can say drawbacks. The first one is side effects. Even though the drug is active, but patients cannot survive due to side effects. Second point. These drugs can kill normal cells as well as cancer cells. If they're killing the normal cells, then again, patients cannot survive. Third point, um, these drugs actually are not reaching to the tumor or the cancer cells. Even though we are injecting the drug due to our body circulatory system, they are getting removed from our body. So in our lab, we mainly focus on these drawbacks and try to apply different strategies to treat and overcome these kind of drawbacks. The first strategy is here, we use prodrug. We can compare it with pistachio with shell. Pistachio is the actual drug and it is protected in a shell. Due to the outer shell, we can expect it to have less side effect, but it is smaller in size. How size matters? Um, I will explain, because cancer cells grow really fast. Due to the fast growth of cancer cells, the wall of the cancer cells are not properly built. So they have large gaps in comparison to the normal cells, which are tight and impact. Due to the, lar the, the smaller size of this kind of prodrugs, somehow they enter into the normal cells in addition to the cancer cells. So in our next strategy, we try to make kind of like a little bit larger molecule. We can compare it with pumpkin, so the seed is the actual drug, and the shell of the pumpkin protects it. So when it actually reaches the cancer cell, the shell can be dissolved. In this case, the larger size makes it more targeted towards cancer cells and leaving behind the normal cell. And also, the shell makes it more protected, so less side effect. Also, we can modify the shell of the pumpkin in a way to make it more soluble in water. Our body contains more than 80% of water. If it's soluble in water, we don't need to inject the drug again and again. You just inject it once, good to go for a while. And also, if it's circulating, we can expect it to reach the target, actually. We made this kind of molecule in our lab, and we tested the stability in water. It was stable in water for more than 10 days. We tested the stability in human plasma, which was stable in human plasma for 24 hours. And the circulatory time in mice was like three times higher compared to the already existing FDA-approved anti-cancer drug. After getting all these exciting results, now we are focused to make a molecule where we have the control from outside to apply light to activate that kind of pumpkin shell. So we will have the complete control over activation of the drug so that we can, we can decrease the side effects and targeting towards more specifically towards cancer cells only. Thank you so much.